Say hello to Imperium. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 440 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci, Imperium! It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork, there are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. We are moments away from seeing Imperium's mission statement in action. And that's unfortunate for anyone else in the ring. Well, this night just got a lot more handsome. And their opponents, first representing Maximum Male Models from Northeastern Massachusetts, weighing in at 314 pounds, Marseille! Gentlemen, the juices of our guilty pleasures have just been titillated. Well, I'm pretty sure my juices aren't titillating. We've seen your suits. You have no eye for fashion. Wait for it. God, I love that pose. to as the royalty of the new day. A multi-time tag champion and a king of the ring. And representing the new day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods is a superstar who's dominant with a video game controller. He can rock a mic and then handle his business in the ring. Yeah, Woods moves around like he had a cheat code, but Woods is for real, and Woods is as tough as they get. Born in a family of butcher knives and raised in a forest fire. Do, do you know what that means, Byron? Because I still haven't figured it out. Yeah, it sounds cool.
And the sound of the bell begins this tag match with Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. Then the opposing team is, of course, filled with Basse and Xavier Woods. Both sides of this match know that tag team competition is a very specific, very unique art form. We're going to see just who will be the better team here tonight. Uh-oh. Going for the ride. Trapping the shoulder and punches directly to the shoulder. Oh my gosh, nowhere to go. That can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. Side rush and leg sweep. Tag switching it up. to a strong kick out. trouble generating any sort of defense. Oh, Matt slam with some attitude. This isn't about who's better anymore. This is about taking out the competition. Some might even argue that the better side is the last one standing, Cole. But you do have a point. This rivalry has gone way out of hand. And that was a precisely measured attack. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation from the crowd and get back into the fight. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. was close to over. Complete shot, perfectly executed. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. He's starting to struggle here. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. This isn't the smartest thing to do. In your opponent instead of attacking him. DDT plants them. And Xavier Woods says it's time to turn up. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight.
body is showing the damage all over his face. Woods with his opponent. seen such a physical match from these combatants and the wear and tear is starting to show. Now's the time where the smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. He needs to figure out the quickest way to end this. Right, yeah. Drop kick on target. And Vinci is keeping the match at his pace. This is Vinci looking at his best. for the crowd and get back into the fight. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Uh-oh. Counters that with an arm drag. Double underhook applied. as Ludwig salutes the crowd. Got the tag! Got the tag! Line. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Uh-oh. Cross the shoulders. is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Already so many titles and major wins to this young man's name. This guy has everything going for him. Amazing physique, endless charisma, a surefire future main eventer. The future has become the now, Cole. Austin Theory is already primed for the main event in WWE. Saxton, 
Get out of the way. You can't be in this selfie. The dangerous Santos Escobar from Lucha Royalty to the Emperor of Lucha Libre. And his opponent, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Every move Escobar makes honors his family and the tradition of Lucha Libre. Yeah, you gotta watch the step around Santos Escobar because he can drop you in a second. Well, there's an understatement. Escobar's already doled out so much punishment to anyone opposing Legato. Santos Escobar continues to build his empire and he'll do anything to keep it intact. Escobar is determined to provide and protect his family. Beware, he's full of surprises. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been plenty of superstars who would be called cocky during my time in this business, but Theory has made it a point to be the very definition of cocky during his time in WWE. Look at Theory defining a whole generation. Absolutely impressive of him. A man who doesn't want to wait his turn. A man who knows his worth. A man who knows everything is owed to him. I didn't mean what I said to be a good thing, Corey, though I won't deny Theory's entering talent. It's just that, and neither will he. And facing him is Santos Escobar, one of the more controversial superstars today. Escobar is obsessed with the legacy of Lucha Libre, but wants to create one on his own terms. No mask, no results. Escobar's creating a new, modern tradition, one win at a time. As far as he's concerned, he doesn't need to wear a mask to properly honor his ancestors. Escobar on the receiving end. Beautiful. And gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. That's that self-entitled confidence from Theory. Great reversal. Hooked up. And DDT. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, Santos counters. A little style from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Watch out. Oh, oh. suicide dive. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. And an elbow drop for added measure. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Does the path to victory for Santos Escobar lie in the more traditional or modern elements of his game? It might actually be both. Escobar possesses a perfect blend of modern and traditional offense. If he wants to win tonight, he needs to bring the best of both worlds. Strong takedown there. There are plenty of ways battling in this area it could end in serious harm. And gets tossed back into the mat. the leg drop. Oh, my Lord! Up and around. Down with a tilt the world backbreaker. Placing them into the corner. Fighting back with a counter. See if this is the start of a rally. He gets out of there in a hurry. Here we go. Suicide dive to the outside. Well, does it better. 
It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Jordan, nine! And Escobar can't create any new tradition if he's taking hits like that. Yeah, as Theory is definitely feeling even cockier here. right in the head. A little rope assistance attacking the arm. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. He got whipped into that corner. That'll scratch you up. Now a series of vicious out in the turnbuckle. Stops. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Here's the takedown. Cover. Power in at one. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. There's one. E dos. This third one makes it. of this match. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. And it's a long way down from there. A uh, reversal catches Santos. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Uh-oh! All the way up, and the big time power. Hooked up. DDT. He's looking a little weary now. Theory very clearly on a high after delivering that maneuver. He's got him scouted. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Boom! <laughs> he needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. From behind, back suplex. Slides him back to the mat. Quick thinking from Theory. Able to interrupt the attack. Look out! Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. These superstars have endured so much punishment. Certainly looking. Maybe that will shut him up. Look at this, just punishing the knee. Shot after shot after shot. Hammer it away. A oh, reversal catches Santos. Testing fate right now. Crashing down hard. 
into the ring now. This match ending by countout is not satisfying to the WWE Universe. I think they may demand a rematch. Oh, talking trash already. This is going to be good. The emotion's running high. These two ladies have been dying to get their hands on each other. And here we go. Wasted a little time. Chaos underway outside the ring. This match hasn't even started. These two don't want to wait for the bell. They want to tear each other apart. Someone's got to get control of this situation. Come on, ref. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. I just cannot believe the referee is actually allowing this match to continue. Oh, Byron, these superstars are all adults, and the referee isn't there to play counselor. The referee's there to officiate this match. You don't have to like it, but this match is going to happen. Climbing the turnbuckle now. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Textbook fallaway slam. We all know Charlotte has all the tools to any match. Putting a stop to all her showboating. Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? That's enough. She is adding insult to injury, and I love it. Take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Looking to crush the hamstring. Oh. Another one? Well placed knees to the hamstring. Looking bad for her here. Stomp to the leg. Crushing the knee there. Yeah. Big boat! Charlotte turning the tide to her favor. Great focus thus far from the Queen. Charlotte is using every tool at her disposal thus far. Grabs her opponent by the ankles. Oh, you bomb! You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. She's pushed into the corner. Barrage of strikes by Charlotte in the corner now. All the way up to the top. No. The, the second time, standing moonsault. Oh, he's a volatile and unstable. This could be it. Cover. Forces the shoulder up. Whoa, that was close. Figure four leg lock. 
Can she bridge through? Figure eight from the queen. She's in a tremendous amount of pain. Is she going to tap out? Can she hold on? This is absolutely excruciating. It's hard to watch. She should tap. They're trying desperately to find a way out of the figure eight. Well, successfully so. Yeah, but the damage has been done. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. She's feeling the hurt here. Flair getting out of the ring the hard way. Taking this to the floor. Oh, look at this. She did. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Up and down. What a slam. Right to the leg. Flair is falling behind now. Charlotte needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. And again. From behind. Such an underhanded tactic there. Toss back into the ring. Oh, oh, oh. Showing her competition what a real superstar looks like. Nice hip toss takedown. Oh, that was nice. This is a crushing amount of offense from her. Yeah, she is absolutely showing no remorse. Yeah, this is not... Oh, I needed a job. And that could do it. So makes the cover. What a kick out at two. We should have known better than to think the queen was going to bow out there. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? Ooh, bullseye. <laughs> Butterfly double underhook up and... Chalk up a win for them in this match, and I think it's safe to say it's all thanks to that fairly vicious attack we saw. Look, when victory's on the line, you don't stop to think. You do whatever you have to do to make sure things go your way. And I guess throwing fair play right out the window just happened to be the best they could come up with? That's right. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 218 pounds, Kenny Omega. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight.
Enter the torture machine. It's like Drew Gulak flipped a switch, and he's always on odd. A man who loves competition, but loathes his opponents. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. A proud native of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a walking torture device. Yeah, Drew Gulak has often said that wrestling in Philadelphia made him tougher. Drew Gulak has a distinctive reputation as a submission specialist. An incredibly high in-ring IQ and raw determination possessed by Gulak. Drew Gulak seems to always have a chip on his shoulder. Always fighting hard like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. It's one of the many things I respect about Gulak, along with the impressive in-ring skill set he's developed over nearly two decades. Yeah, and when Gulak combines all that in-ring knowledge with his tenacious attitude, he's been known to produce some pretty spectacular results. Yeah, but meeting him in the ring's quite an obstacle. There's nothing about this superstar that signifies he'll be a pushover. That attack was definitely pre-calculated hoping to greatly diminish the power in that arm. Butterfly pile driver! And that looked like a terrible landing. That might have caused some serious issues. We'll have to see what happens. And a kick. Locking the wrist. Count the boy on the mark. Off into the pin. To three. This could be a tipping point in this match. Ooh, chopping down the opposition. Drew Gulak's deep arsenal can make him a pretty intimidating opponent. So what's the number one thing to keep in mind when facing him? You can't let Gulak take you down to the mat where he can get full control of you. Keep Gulak outside his comfort zone by pressing the attack at all times. Forced out of the ring. He heads outside, count legal in this match. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Stomping straight down on the arm. Two. Oh, God. He's taking some good hits. Absolutely spiking your opponent. What a devastating Four. turn that'll cause. Five. Here comes that rolling fireman's carry. Nice rolling fireman's carry. This fight has made its way to the entrance way. Oh man, so many things can go wrong now. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Across the top rope. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Punishing the leg. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. Showed off some of his impressive skill set with that attack. And up the turn, buckles we go. Blast off. Oh, what a landing. Just crashing down with high impact. Incoming. Gulak's strategy paying dividends. Gulak with a systematic attack. Uh oh, oh to the back of the neck. What a lariat. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. He takes control. Discus lariat. That was nasty. This has been building and building between them for so long.
Yeah, Saxton, and it's almost impossible to know what will be the final nail in the coffin for this feud. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. And he's adamantly in control. He's mixing precision and physicality with his attacks here. Up and down, what a gourd buster. Oh. A gut buster. Oh, I had that well scouted. Could be a chance for him to change the complexion of this. Oh my gosh, what impact. He still has some gas left in the tank. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Uh, here we go now. Oh, and before the opponent can even get in the ring, beat the hell out of this guy. The referee trying to separate the two men. Yeah, at least enough to just ring the bell and officially get this match started. Tensions have boiled over, and we haven't even started the thing. A uh, superstar who was attacked is uh, starting with a big disadvantage here. Well, the pre match attack has completely changed the odds in this matchup. Emotions running high in this highly anticipated match, but this is officially underway. It takes real toughness to climb into the ring after taking a few hits. It shows how much this match means to everyone involved. Well, I don't think that's a choice they should have had to have made in the first place. It's totally unfair. It could dramatically affect the final outcome. And here's a cover. And there's the kick out. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Oh, ouch. Wrist clutch applied, and this is just next level brutality. Uh oh. He deflects it right back. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. We have a sidewalk slam. The tribal chief taking a moment to compose himself. Looks more like taking a moment to gloat. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Out of the ring, but needs.
needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Whoa. Look at this. Just launched his opponent. Overhead, belly to belly. Oh. We all know that Drew McIntyre has that Claymore kick locked and loaded, so here's a pro tip for his opponent. Attack the base. If you don't find ways to limit the Claymore's power, it's all over. Thanks for sharing your wisdom, Corey, and I agree. At the very least, you need to wear Drew out so he can't throw his full force behind the Claymore. Look at this straight. Incredible power slam. And Roman Reigns demanding acknowledgement from the WWE Universe. The Sky's Warriors staring up. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Ooh, stinging kick. Now he's been put on the defensive. Oh, taking a right to it. No waiting. Drew McIntyre is boiling to the surface right now. Bam! Down he goes. Powerless position to be in right now. Watch this power. What a good wrench power bomb. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. McIntyre getting ready. To the sky. What a look out. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Sanctioned match from bell to bell. Well, just like I said, prepare for what you don't expect.